Today, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to work on inequalities. And of course, we got to get our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> all right, you better be. OK, today we're going to do inequalities, all right? Here we go, right there. OK, inequalities. What are inequalities? Well, we'll get to that very soon. Let's go to our first inequality right there. That is a symbol. Some people say that symbol is pointing to the right. Well, what does it mean? That simple symbol represents the word statement is greater than. Well, what does is greater than mean? Charlie, how do you do these problems? The crocodile eats the bigger number. I've heard that the crocodile eats the bigger number. There's no animals in mathematics. Well, at least I don't think so. But anyway, oh, okay. Well, okay, Charlie, since you seem to know how to do these, try this one right here. Is this true or false? Uh-huh. Well, see, you have to know which is the bigger number, obviously. Well, how do you know which is the bigger number? Well, our approach will be to look at a number line. Here we go, Charlie. So, when we're going to look at a number line here and realize a greater than symbol actually is saying is to the right of. So, if we look at this number line, Charlie, is negative 3 to the right of negative 4. Yes. Yes, it is. And therefore, negative 3 is greater than negative 4. Therefore, this statement right here is true. There you go. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Is 0 greater than negative 1? Yes. Yes, it is. Because 0 is to the right of negative 1. 0 is the bigger number. You think of it that way. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. 2 greater than 5. Is 2 greater than 5? No. No, it's not. So t that statement, 2 greater than 5, is a false statement. It's not true. 2 is actually less than 5. We'll get to that in a second. Now, here's one more. Negative 2 greater than 2. Charlie, is negative 2 greater than 2? No. No, it's not. Okay. So that statement would be false. All right. Now, let's go to less than. All right. Here's our next symbol, Charlie, right there. That symbol represents the word statement is less than. Now, on a number line, Charlie, what does that mean to be less than? To the left? That's right, to the left of. Now, let's bring out a number line and let's try this problem. Here we go, Charlie. Is negative 3 less than negative 4? Is that true or false? False. That's right, it's false. Negative 3 is not less than negative 4, right? In the Previous problems, we found out that negative 3 was actually greater than negative 4, right? Because negative 3 is to the right of negative 4. So this is a false statement. Negative 3 is not less than negative 4. Here we go, Charlie. 0 less than negative 1. Is 0 less than negative 1? No. No, it's not. 0 is not to the left of negative 1. So that is a false statement. Let's do another one. Is 2 less than 5, Charlie? Yes. Yes, it is. 2 is to the left of 5. And there we go. Is negative 3 less than 3? Yes. That is true. Yes, 3 is the bigger number if you look at it that way. So anyway, you look at a number line, it's no problem. Okay? All right. Now, let's look at this inequality, greater than or equal to. Now, notice it's a greater than symbol with a line below it. So there's two things you're asked. Is it greater than or is it equal to? If one of them works, then the statement will be true. And so let's look at this problem right here. Is 3 greater than 3, Charlie? No. No, 3 is actually equal to 3. So this inequality is greater than, is not going to work. It's going to be false because 3 is not greater than 3. Now watch this. Is 3 less than 3? No, Charlie. No. No, it's not. 3 is not less than 3. 3 is equal to 3. And so now, when we bring in our equal sign, which is considered an inequality, it's equal, actually. Is 3 equal to 3, Charlie? Yes. Yes, it is. It is true. Okay. Now watch this. Is 3 greater than or equal to 3? Now, we found out 3 is not greater than 3, but 3 does equal 3. So if you're asked, hey, is 3 greater than or equal to 3? What's your answer going to be, Charlie? Yes. Yes, it is. It's going to be equal. So 
That is a true statement. Three is greater than or equal. It's actually equal to three. So that little equal sign down there makes this statement true. Okay. Let's do uh, is less than or equal to now. Here we go. Is negative three less than or equal to negative four, Charlie? No. True or false? False. That's false. Remember, there's two possibilities. First thing you should be asking yourself, is negative three less than negative four? No, that's not true. Is negative three equal to negative four? No, it's a false statement there. Okay, is zero less than or equal to one? Charlie? Yes. Yes, it is. Zero is to the left of one, so zero is actually less than one. So it does give a true statement here. Now, is three less than or equal to three, Charlie? First of all, Charlie, is three less than three? No, no. Is three equal to three? Yes, yes. So as long as you meet one of the conditions, either less than or equal to, your statement is true, okay? And now, Charlie, here's another one here. Is zero greater than or equal to zero? Is that statement true or false? True. It's true. Now, why is it true, Charlie? Because zero equals zero, because zero does equal zero. These problems are going to be tough, but you've got to think about it. Now, let's throw in some variables, because that's what you're going to be doing in beginning algebra. Remember, this is pre-algebra. Beginning algebra is a big time. Anyway, Charlie, is C less than A? Is that true or false? There's no way to tell, right? There is a way to tell if we put a number line, right, and place all our variables there. So here we go, Charlie. Now, where's C at? Over there. That's right. Where's A? Right here. Okay. Now, which is the larger number, Charlie, C or A? C. Okay, C is larger. Now, some people think C is further away from zero because zero is in the middle, right? C is way over there. A is over here. So C is actually greater than A. So, Charlie, is C less than A? No. That's false. Okay. Let's do another one. B less than or equal to D. Now, Charlie, is B to the left of D? No. No, it's not. B, right, okay, B up here is actually greater than this D, right? So B is actually greater than D. So that statement up there is saying, is B less than D or is it equal to D? No, it's not. So the answer is false. B is not to the left of D, nor is it equal. Now, zero greater than D, Charlie. Is yes. zero greater than D? Yes. That is true, because zero is over there, D is right here, and you can see zero is to the right of D, so obviously zero is greater than D. And by the way, since D is over here, D must represent a negative number, okay? So let's do this one here. Negative two greater than or equal to three. You don't even need this number line for this. This statement here is saying, hey, is a negative number greater than a positive number? Or is it equal to a positive number? That can't be true. Negative numbers are to the left of zero. Positive numbers are to the right of zero. So Charlie, is negative two greater than or equal to three? No. No, it's not. So the answer is false. So there you go. That's an introduction to inequalities. Anyway, time to take a break. And we'll come back and do some more pre-algebra. Anyway, well, I'll see you again soon.